Today, Julian Assange, the head of WikiLeaks and Draco Malfoy's biological father, <laughs> has finally been arrested. You can tell that living inside the embassy for seven years has taken its toll. Here he is back in 2012. Yeah, now compare that to today. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. The guy went in looking like Draco Malfoy, came out looking like Dumbledore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was dragged out of the Ecuadorian embassy looking like Santa Claus with a manifesto. <laughs> You're all naughty. I have it on my list. He's being brought to the U.S. on charges of leaking secrets. And he's facing a pretty rough punishment. They're going to make him Trump's new Secretary of Homeland Security. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like here? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Wow. Assange is being charged by the U.S. for trying to hack into a Defense Department computer back in 2010. And in 2010, it was really difficult to hack the government system because the password was password one. Ecuador had granted Assange asylum in their embassy but withdrew it, which allowed UK authorities to arrest him. According to the Daily Beast, Ecuador imposed a new and detailed set of rules on its fugitive guests, banning unannounced visitors, and requiring Assange to pay his own medical bills, clean up after himself in the bathroom, and tend to the well-being, food, cleanliness, and proper care of his cat. Assange bristled at the restrictions and took Ecuador's foreign ministry to court. There have been reports for some time that Assange was sort of, uh, had outlived his welcome there in the embassy for all sorts of reasons, including that he was skateboarding in the halls oh, and mm. stealing Wi-Fi, and that his cat had been making a mess. So, the, you know, the Ecuadorians were getting sick of having him there. Why the hell was Julian Assange skateboarding in the hallways of an embassy and stealing their Wi-Fi? He took them to court over his cat. Usually, people go to court to get restraining orders against their cats. <laughs> Please, Your Honor, he keeps glaring at me like he wants to kill me. As for that cat... <laughs> the most disturbing thing about the story is somehow not the fact that Assange allowed it to <laughs> all over the embassy. No, it's that every day, he dressed that poor thing up in a tie and collar. And I'm talking an entire wardrobe, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's not yawning in this photo. He's screaming, help me! One person who's always been very clear about where he stands on WikiLeaks is Donald Trump. And yet, when Trump was asked today about WikiLeaks, which he repeatedly praised throughout the campaign, he pretended he didn't know anything about it. Mr. President, do you still love WikiLeaks? Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. Oh, it's, it's not your thing. Your government just arrested a guy whose organization you repeatedly praised throughout the campaign, and you're acting like someone just offered you weed at a party. Oh, no, thanks, man. That's not my thing.